Here at ABC 10, we're dedicated to covering stories that represent all members of the community, including those often underrepresented in news and on television. Well, this morning, an art installation is set to take place honoring the history of Sacramento's LGBTQ community. ABC 10's Mark S. Allen joins us live from Midtown with the details this morning. Mark, you say the significance is important for more than just the Midtown area. Yeah, it really is. It's good for the economy locally. It's good for people and it's the right thing to do as we hang out in front of the LGBT Center and what a beautiful facility that is right in the heart of the Lavender District. District. Let's take a deeper dive into that. Take a look. You may have driven through, walked past, or even dined here not realizing that you were in Lavender Heights. In 2015, Steve Hansen, Sacramento's first openly LGBT council member, created a community coalition to pursue official city designation of the LGBT neighborhood of Midtown. This week, an historic district-wide installation was completed, reminding those who passed through, love is for all. Why was it called Lavender Heights unofficially? So in the early 70s, this area had become home for the LGBT community. It was a place where people could gather. We had two bars in the area, Faces and the Westerner, at the corner of 20th and K. And so the nickname became Lavender Heights. It didn't become official until 2015, when a group of us worked together to form that district. Emily Michaels, executive director of the Midtown Association, says not only is this installation the right thing to do, it's good for the local economy. Our community is stronger, our economy is stronger if we have space for everybody in our community and they feel welcomed and protected and celebrated. These are great reminders just to embrace one another. They're a reminder that we can work together collectively, that we bring prosperity to everybody when we work together and that it's a place that we want to welcome the entire community. And that's what Midtown's really about, and a vibrant community that can welcome all sorts. Live it, learn it, love. No exceptions, no exclusions. That's what it's about. That's what we're celebrating in this month of love in Lavender Heights. Back to you. It absolutely is all about the love and making sure everybody's celebrated. Mark, thank you so much.